going on guys, it's your boy Spudzy here, and today we got a sneak peek at one of the new weapons coming in the new patch. The Scepter Revenant is a mix of damage and support that offers barrier, boons, and a few new mechanics that Revenant is going to like. The auto attack chain is unique in the sense that it is visually really cool. It does have range on it, but it also projects as this energy blade that damages enemies in close proximity. The auto attack chain itself is 3 hits and it cleaves. It'll grant might to allies on the second hit, while granting barrier to allies on the third hit. Scepter 2 is called Blossoming Aura. This skill infuses the enemy target with mist energy that deals damage over time. After a delay, the energy explodes, dealing more damage and granting barrier to allies. If you're able to auto-attack the enemy while Blossoming Aura is on the target, it will increase in strength and deal more damage as well as grant additional barrier. Otherworldly Bond is an upkeep skill that creates a tether between you and your target. If used on an ally, this pulses might to the target and allies around you. When an enemy is tethered, the target gains vulnerability and takes increased strike damage from the Revenant. Just like Blossoming Aura, attacking enemies will cause the tether's effects to strengthen. Additionally, when the tether is at max strength, you gain a new follow-up skill called Otherworldly Attraction. If used on an ally, you will shadow step to them and grant barrier to allies around them. When used on an enemy, it will instead pull the target to you and apply additional vulnerability. The scepter seems absolutely incredible on Revenant. It looks to be a hybrid weapon between power damage and support. Obviously for builds like Heal Herald, this weapon will be insane as there are tons of barrier applications that will just make this build fully complete. For Heal Renegade, this weapon seems to be a big upgrade as well because of the might you are gaining on the auto attack chain and tether skill. In open world, this weapon is going to be absolutely incredible. You have plenty of cleave and AoE with Scepter 2 and auto attack chains, and not to mention the amount of barrier you are applying while dealing damage is going to feel really good in the open world. For competitive game modes, I'm very curious to see how Scepter will turn out. In World the World, I can see this being used on Support Vindicator in Zergs with the cleave and barrier applications being huge for your allies. For roaming in PvP, I can see this being pretty nice on all the rev specs, increased strike damage, tons of vulnerability, a pole, cleave, and barrier. This weapon has potential to be pretty crazy, and when mixed with impossible odds, I can see this weapon shredding enemies and stacking up that barrier with applying the scepter to impossible odds and just auto attack spamming. It is going to be insane. That being said, I'm very excited to test out the weapon and will be doing so when it comes to the beta. Are you looking forward to scepter rev? What spec do you think will be the most interesting with it? For me personally, I'm curious to see how the Vindicator will handle this new weapon, as I can see some interesting builds that deal great damage and have good sustain come out of this. And not to mention, the Vindicator doesn't actually have any upkeep skills associated with the spec, so having an upkeep skill on a weapon will be pretty cool, and I'm excited to see how the Vindicator will be able to channel their energy into an upkeep skill. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.